All right, so here's a regular filter, brand new, never had fuel in it, full of air. Meant for fuel injection, does it flow gas? If it's not injected, well, let's see. So, <clears throat> we'll push that on here. We got a little bit of gas in here up to this level, so it's about like a tank in an airplane. And let's open the valve. Um, let's see, <clears throat> we got a stopwatch. Well, let's see. It's open. 2001, so basically and you're slow, it's yeah. gonna it's gonna take thirty seconds to fill a quart. That means it takes two minutes to fill a gallon. So two minutes is a gallon. And you were still running a little slow there too, based on the minutes. Yeah, approximately, but it was flowing like crazy. It's still flowing. Well, uh, that's just the filters full. I gas. know. Yeah. So we got two gallons in one minute. No, 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 no. We got a quart in 30 seconds. So in one minute, we got two quarts. In two minutes, we got a gallon. Two minutes for the gallon. Let's try this again. Let's make it a little more challenging. Let's uh, put the filter up in the air. Do it level. Oh. Thousand and one, thousand and two, thousand and three, thousand and four, thousand and five, thousand and six, thousand and seven, thousand and eight, thousand and nine, thousand and ten, thousand and eleven. Okay, we don't have to prove any further. So basically, if the filter is uphill, it takes longer. I mean, clearly. Now, is it working? Is the engine using this much gas? No, it, so there's plenty of gas. Um, going uphill would be like not smart. That's not the way it's supposed to be installed. You have to make sure that the entire fuel system is downhill. So let's go level. Makes a huge difference. Level's basically the same. Going up. Okay, so you can reduce the flow a lot by going uphill. So don't go uphill. Level, downhill. Okay, the more downhill, the better. But definitely there's no restriction in this filter. And this is a filter for fuel injection. All right, shut her up. So that was test number two. How about the orientation of the filter? We're below the tank, but we're going uphill with the angle of the filter. What's that gonna do? shows you that it will flow, but also shows you don't mount the filter body itself with any uphill angle, because it's gonna flow much slower. Now how about if the hose is above the fuel tank? Like if it goes up a little bit, but the filter is level. Also not a good idea. We're almost at the level of the fuel here, see? We're up by the fuel level. We can't run uphill. Let's go down. As soon as we are at the fuel level or below, as long as the filter is level, we 
getting fuel. The lower we can bring it, and the more level we can bring it, clearly the better it is by a huge margin. As soon as we start tilting it up, even if we're below, let's see. Okay, you're spewing gas on me. Do you need me to turn the valve off? All right, turn it off. There it is. All right, so it clearly flows if the filter is level or downhill a little bit. Uh, just make it level and make sure that it, you put, if it doesn't flow, you got an issue. You know, you got an issue with that tank. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna block the vent to that tank and we'll try it again. All right, so so far we have learned that with fuel in a fuel tank, vent it, and you turn it on, it'll flow through a filter into a can as long as you're not as high as the top fuel level or going uphill too much. Preferably you want the filter to be level and you want to be going down slightly, which is possible even in a low wing airplane with no problem. Now. This test will be exactly the same. We optimize it for slightly downhill and we have close to ventilation of the tank. And we'll see how it works if we have very little or no ventilation in the tank. And of course, immediately it starts flowing and we'll see if it keeps flowing with reduced ventilation in that tank, or maybe none if I've been able to seal it off properly with the aluminum tape that I used. Initially, it's flowing just fine. So again, that disqualifies any thought about that the filters are preventing the initial flow of the fuel uh, because it doesn't seem to. In fact, it's gonna take quite a while to build up enough vacuum in that tank before we reduce, uh, lose all of our fuel flow here. Now we are gonna keep it going after this is full and we'll see how long it takes, but it's actually unrelated in a sense. Uh, it seems now that the venting of the main tank is less important. Of course it's important, it needs to be vented, but the orientation of the hose and the filter is what's important. Not, uh, it would take a long time to create a vacuum in here because we closed the main vent where we can't get any gravity feed anymore. So we have tested that as well.